All right, guys, today we're going to go over part 61. Uh, these are all the key points you need to know for the private pilot uh, written exam. FAR 61.113, private pilot privileges. Uh, private pilot may not pay less than the pro rata share of the operating expenses of a flight with passengers. A private pilot may act as pilot in command of an aircraft used in a passenger carrying airlift sponsored by a charitable organization for which the passengers uh, may make a donation. So the only exception is if a uh, pilot um, is acting as pilot in command. If that flight is sponsored by a charitable organization uh, for which the or which the passengers make a donation uh, to the flight. But other than that, private pilots may not pay less than the pro rata share of the operating expenses. Now, let's jump into a quiz question. According to regulations pertaining to privileges and limitations, a private pilot may? You guessed it. The correct answer is C. FAR 61.15, these are offenses involving drugs or alcohol. Big key to point to know here is that any conviction uh, for a violation of any federal or state statute um, relating to the manufacture or sale of narcotics, marijuana, depressants, stimulant drugs uh, will result in the denial of an application for any certificate, rating, or authorization issued under this part uh, for a period of one year after the date of final conviction or a suspension or re revocation of any uh, certificate, rating, or authorization. A pilot convicted of the manufacture or distribution of drugs might expect. A pilot convicted of the manufacture or distribution of drugs might expect to have their license suspended or revoked. The correct answer is A. 61.19. Uh, this is the duration of pilot and instructor certificates. So a student uh, pilot certificate, plastic student pilot certificate issued after April 1st, 2016 under 61.19 is issued uh, without a specific expiration date. So there's no expiration date. You may see a question like that on the exam. No expiration date for a uh, student pilot certificate. When does a U.S. student pilot certificate expire? As we just learned, the student pilot certificate does not expire. The correct answer is B. 61.3, this is pilots in command or required crew member must have a current pilot certification uh, on their personal possession or readily accessible in the aircraft. Uh, each person who holds a pilot certificate or a medical certificate shall present it uh, for inspection upon request of local law enforcement. Uh, these are questions you may see on the private pilot exam. Each person who holds a pilot certificate or a medical certificate shall present it for inspection upon the request of any. If you guessed A, that would be the correct answer. Pilots must present their pilot certificates or a medical certificate to local law enforcement officers upon request. High performance airplanes. Um, high performance airplane, guys, is any airplane with an engine of more than 200 horsepower. Um, or a large aircraft is defined as anything more than 12,500 pounds, they must hold a type rating uh, for that aircraft. What is the definition of a high performance airplane? A high performance airplane is any airplane with a horsepower of more than 200. A flight review is required every two years. I'm uh, pretty straightforward on that one. So um, no person may act as pilot in command unless they've had a biennial flight review. They also need a logbook endorsed from an authorized instructor who gave the review, uh, certifying that that person has indeed uh, completed the flight review. Each recreational or private pilot is required to have. Recreational and private pilots are required to have a biennial flight review. The correct answer would be B. Biennial means every two years. If a recreational or private pilot had a flight review on August 8th this year, 
when is the next flight review required? As we mentioned, uh, flight reviews are required every two years, and it's on the last day of the month. So if it occurred on August 8th of, say, 2025, then it would be due August 31st of 2027. Recent flight experience, uh, no person may act as a pilot in command of an aircraft carrying passengers um, unless they've made at least three takeoffs and three landings within the preceding 90 days. Uh, those takeoffs and landings um, must be made to a full stop um, if it's a if the airplane has a tail wheel. Um, and then again for uh, for night flight, um, no person may act as pilot in command of an aircraft carrying passengers during the period uh, beginning one hour after sunset uh, or one hour before sunrise unless that pilot has made. Um, within the preceding 90 days has made at least three takeoffs and three landings to a full stop. To act as pilot in command of an aircraft carrying passengers, the pilot must have made at least three takeoffs and three landings in an aircraft of the same category, class, and if a type rating is required, of the same type within the preceding. Correct answer is A, 90 days. If recency of experience requirements for night flight are not met, an official sunset is 1830. The latest time passengers may be carried is... The correct answer is C, 1929, since that is 59 minutes past official sunset, and private pilots who are not current for night flight may not fly one hour after official sunset. Change of address, pilot must notify the FAA within 30 days of a permanent change of mailing address. If a certificated pilot changes permanent mailing address and fails to notify the FAA Airman Certification Branch of the new address, the pilot is entitled to exercise the privileges of the pilot certificate for a period of only, it would be B, 30 days after the date of move, 61.69 is regarding the towing of gliders. A certificated private pilot may not may not act as pilot in command of an aircraft towing a glider unless they're uh, unless he has in their logbook a minimum of 100 hours um, of pilot in command time in the aircraft category, class, and type. And then uh, to act as pilot in command of an aircraft towing a glider, uh, the pilot must uh, have made. At least three actual um, or simulated glider tows within the preceding 12 months. To act as pilot in command of an aircraft towing a glider, a pilot is required to have made within the preceding 12 months. The correct answer is A, the pilot must have made at least three actual or simulated glider tows while accompanied by a qualified pilot. Now we'll dive into FAR part. 61.23 FAA medical certificates. A first class medical is required for pilots who fly large passenger jets as an airline transport pilot. The first class medical has the most stringent medical requirements and expires sooner than a lower class of medical. If under the age of 40, first class medicals are good for 12 calendar months if used for ADP or commercial operations, and 60 calendar months if used for personal or business flying. If over the age of 40, first-class medicals are good for six calendar months when used for ATP operations and 12 months when used for commercial operations. First-class medicals are good for 24 calendar months if over the age of 40 and used for personal or business flying. A second-class medical is needed for commercial pilots flying for higher Second class medicals are needed for flying cargo or any other commercial pilot job that is not flying as an airline transport pilot. If under the age of 40, second class medicals are good for 12 calendar months if used for commercial operations and 60 calendar months if used for personal or business flying. If over the age of 40, second class medicals are good for 12 calendar months when used for commercial operations and 24 months when used for personal or business flying. A third class medical is needed for recreational, personal, and business flying. Third class medicals are good for those airmen who are not using their pilot certificate for commercial operations. 
Third class medicals may only be used for personal, business, or recreational flying non-commercial operations, and are good for 60 calendar months if under the age of 40 and 24 calendar months if over the age of 40. A third-class medical certificate is issued to a 36-year-old pilot on August 10th this year. To exercise the privileges of a private pilot certificate, the medical certificate will be valid until midnight on Remember that a third class medical certificate is valid for five years if under the age of 40. So in this case, the correct answer would be August 31st, five years later, since this pilot is under the age of 40. For private pilot operations, a second class medical certificate issued to a 42 year old pilot on July 15th this year will expire at midnight on. Remember, Second class medicals are good for 12 calendar months if over the age of 40 and being used for commercial pilot operations. Second class medicals are good for 24 calendar months if over the age of 40. And don't forget this key point, this can be a little tricky. Second class medicals are good for 24 calendar months if and only if they are being used for personal private pilot operations and not commercial operations. So in this case, the correct answer would be two years since the question is asking if used for private pilot operations. Well, that covers it for the part 61 regulations. These are some of the key points you need to know for the private pilot knowledge test written exam. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.